I just don't understand why people waste other people's time. Like, if you see someone, male or female, but especially men to women, when you see someone being great, and you know that you don't want shit, leave her be. Let her be great. Let her be great for another man. Or let her be great by herself. Hey guys, good morning. It is Thursday. I just got back in town late last night. Well, like mid evening. As you can see, I'm finally taking out my braids. It's been, I had it for nine weeks, so I actually went really good. But as you can see, it is definitely time for these to come out. Like I have like two, probably two inches or like an inch and a half. Let me take my glasses off. You see how it's just dangling? Like look at all I do, bro. Like I already started working on this this section right here. So, I can definitely see the, the length, the growth a little bit, especially in this back section, because my back section was shorter. Um, so yeah, just taking it section by section. Y'all know how that goes. Trying to protect the style, protect the new growth that I did get. But yeah, so we're about to get it popping. I'm ready for the curls to come back. Um, I'm getting a massage tomorrow and to try to get a massage when you have heavy ass braids just doesn't just it just doesn't work. Um and then the guy would rather you have like your natural hair anyways, that way he can like really be, like get up in your scalp and the nape of your neck and stuff. So the timing just worked out. I have a shoot for Carol's daughters next week, so it's like I gotta take it out anyway. So it kind of just worked out like the timing. But definitely a process. I'm doing this before I go to the gym because now I don't have to work out with these heavy ass braids, um, which will make my workout a little bit easier, as well as I can get in the sauna and I can get in the jacuzzi and not have to work my hair so because I have to wash my hair anyway. So I can do all of that and then just come back home and then, you know, bring the curls back. So we are finally almost done. So we got this half done. I got this front done this back here I just got this little section right here listen I am good on box braids for a good little while oh my god this has taken all fucking day what time is it it's 2 30 it's 2 30. I started this, I think it's taking hours. Now, granted, it's taking longer because I have been trying to like film this in the process because I'm thinking about uploading a video on how to like take out your, you know, protective style box sprays, you know, to be able to keep your length because, you know, a lot of people mess up when they're taking out their protective style by the way that they take it down and detangle and they actually end up losing all the length that they gained you know what i'm saying because they end up having to chop off so much at the bottom you know what i'm saying because you always want to trim after protective style but they don't always take it down correctly so i was like okay you know what let me try to film this you know what i'm saying there might be some people that you know need this information need to know how to you know what I'm saying? Take down a protective style. Because definitely protective styles is the way to go. But I say that while having these in my head, what one thing that I realized too is that it feel my neck feels so good not having that weight on, on me no more. Like these boxers were heavy. Like even for the past two months, like when I've weighed myself, I've had to minus like a pound on the scale just for my just for my hair. And then even me just taking it down now, I'm just like, oh my God, this is too much work. Like, look at this. Like, it's too much work. I know that I'm not losing a lot of hair. I know that like all of the hair that I'm losing is again, the thousands and thousands and thousands of strands that didn't fall out 
these past two months. But I am also good <laughs> on this shit, on <laughs> box braids. My next protective style is gonna be something where my hair is braided down flat to my scalp and letting it grow out that way because this shit is tedious. to the gym so the gym was kind of a bust because the jacuzzi was not working so i only got to sit in the sauna so i'm washed in deep condition well i'm washed i'm about the deep condition i don't know if y'all can hear the dryer in the background um so yeah i'm kind of upset that the damn gym went all the way up there that's what i went up there for but you know say la vie so Lots of deep condition. The curls is popping though. I am happy about that. Just from with just a regular washing condition, the curls are popping. So hopefully this deep condition will really, really, really bring my curls back to life. So just finished my makeup. About to go out with Ronnie. Um, he just submitted his TV show yesterday. So taking your boy out for a celebratory drink and if you know anything about Lonnie he doesn't drink so it'll be me drinking him with a Sprite and uh you know but this is tonight's makeup oh god the lighting is trash makeup I need to stretch my hair my hair's not stretched right now but as you can see the curls came through they are popping, you know what I mean? Curls are popping. I just need to stretch it and then get dressed. Gonna, um, I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know where we're going, but it's gonna be cute or whatever. Like I told him to make sure that he gets like dress dressed. So we are finishing that up. And then we're about to go. I'm about to stretch this hair and then I will show y'all the fit. So this is the fit for tonight. Just a little white top with some black pleather shorts and just some black strappy shoes. Diamond, get out. No one, they're not here to see you. But yes, this is the fit. Curls, nails. Focus on the nails. I can't focus. Um, but yeah, so this is the fit. Some light. We just go and hang out.
check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Friday I am up it's early and it's hot it is literally like 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already 90 degrees like honey summer is here um I am up I am actually headed to coming Georgia it's about an hour from where I live um to go look at this fireplace because you know I'm redoing my entire house and redecorating and remodeling and all of that and this fireplace that I've been looking at for like years but it's always sold out because as soon as it as soon as they make more they're gone and they only make like a hundred at a time so I found this place online yesterday turns out they're incoming and I've been trying to call them and they're not answering the phone so I'm gonna have to go up there which is cool because I'll be able to go out there and come back in enough time to do what I need to do but yeah, so I'm about to do this hour drive to coming to see the fireplace. And I'm so excited because I've literally wanted this fireplace for prob probably at least four years now. I think I've wanted this fireplace for probably four years. As you can see, we're on day two hair. So the girls is popping. The shrinkage is not that, you know what I'm saying? The shrinkage is, is coming down, coming down. Curls still healthy after those box braids for two months. <laughs> my fireplace in store I thought it was gonna be in store but it's not but I was able to order it and it'll get here in like three three to four weeks and yes I'm excited I finally got it walking around the rest of the store it looks really good in here so yeah guys if you're ever in Georgia Atlanta coming Georgia come to dream home interiors George, he's amazing, he's fantastic. I am finally getting my fireplace. Y'all know I have wanted this fireplace for like four years, so I'm finally getting it. Three to four weeks, be a new vlog coming, updated. So I finally got it. It is going, it ended up being like 119, which is how much it is. They had it online, which is way cheaper. And then just the taxes and the delivery is free. And um, you could order um like the it was like 150 dollars the like the insurance for like if it breaks or something happens to it oh my god i can't get can't get clear okay um the insurance is like 150 dollars for if it gets like broke or stuff like that like the fireplace part but i didn't order that because like it's going in a room where it's not really going to be used like that so i'm not really tripping on it breaking within five years because it's not really going to get used like that the fire the fireplace part of it it's going to be more for show because it's going in a room that nobody sits in so but i'm so excited i finally got it so like three to four weeks I'm so excited hey guys so i am headed to my massage i am getting my first um sensual massage um, I'm excited. Uh, it's not sexual at all. Um, See, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, you know, your girl's celibate, so it's been a while since I've had 
like a guy touch me, I guess. And then um, it's been a while since I had a massage. I'm, I'm before the pandemic. I was a person who got massages pretty regularly. Like I got a massage like once every two weeks, probably, um, if if not even once a week. And then the pandemic hit, and then so I literally waited a year before I went back to nail salons and getting a massage. And when I went back to the place that I always used to go to, um, I didn't really like my experience. Um, it, it was it was just a bad experience. So I was like, yeah, I'm not I'm not finna come. I'm not, I'm not finna keep giving me giving them my money for them to like just the customer service was just terrible so i had been looking for a new masseuse and all this so this guy is out of new york and he is visiting atlanta and um yeah i think i'm gonna drop a separate video doing a review for my massage um oh god i'm so shiny <laughs> um so yeah so i'm headed there and so i will see you guys after I just got home from my massage. It was really good. It's a good experience. I um, am getting ready now to go to a Hawks game um, with a old friend who called me. I'm trying to figure out his angle, I don't know. We'll see, but get ready to head to a Hawks game. So we're ready to just move all this. As you can see, my hair got messed up during that massage for the scalp part of it. So, gotta fix my hair. So, this is the look for tonight. It is, I just have a little cream and gold jacket with like a white lacy top with some high waist that are falling. High waist pink pants with white and gold bag with just clear heels. So this is tonight's look for the game. And then going somewhere after. Hey y'all. So I am fixing my boobs. <laughs> Number one on the list, fixing my boobs with this top that I have on. I um I just what am I looking for? Oh. I, j I had just got invited out. Um I I had literally was like headed home for my massage. I don't I don't really know this person's angle with inviting me out. This was someone who told me like when we were hanging out and stuff that they didn't think I really liked them, da da, da whatever. And they just been like playing games, but then they invited me out, so I'm like, alright. We'll see. But yeah, so headed to a Hawks game. Let's see what their angle is. <laughs>
the game is over. Right now, we're at um, about to head to Rock Steady. I'm kind of tired. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I want to go. I don't know. We'll see. I'm like really tired. <laughs> Is it? The time is 1.56 a.m. It is 1.56 a.m. I'm just now coming home. Went to the game and went to this place called Rock Study, which is a total vibe. Um, so you remember how earlier before I left, I was like, yeah, I was like, I don't really know like his angle. Like, why did he even put the blue? Like, I should have stayed my ass at home. Like, I should have stayed my ass at home. Like, niggas just be playing so many games and just don't be wanting shit. At least not for me. When it comes to me, niggas just do not want shit. And yeah, it's like, like I'm like he already like a little tipsy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little tipsy right now, but it's it's fine. He's saying he's not drunk. I'm like, okay, it's fine. But you can still like answer like basic questions. And so I'm literally just like, you know, like what do you want? Like, and you know, he's walking to my car or whatever. Cause the reason why he stopped talking to me a few weeks ago was because he felt like I didn't like him and whatever just just a whole bunch of bullshit a whole bunch of bullshit and so i'm like okay well you back now like so what you want you know what i'm saying like, that's a simple question what do you want like you hit me about the blue to hang out with this and you can't even tell me so it's like okay you don't want shit and it's like i would rather someone just just say that instead of just playing fucking games like don't sit up here and try to say you trying to turn it all around on me and say no it's not even that i never said that that's what you thought and it's you 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 don't act like you like me this is this and look at how you acting now what you mean you can't even count now you can't count now like this is me being on guard because this whole night i'm trying to decipher what the fuck you want this is me trying to decipher what the fuck you want you know what I'm saying? Like, you so you can't even count tonight. And so he just couldn't even answer the basic question. And this is why I always say, like, the turn the, the train does not move backwards. Like, any man who I have ever had, I will never want again. Because I am not that girl that you think that you could put on the back burner or put back on, on on the reset and then try to come back. Like, I'm I'm not that girl. Like, any man who I have had, I don't want, I don't want. And the same shit happened the other day. Like the dude, like the dude from last year, like we were messaging or whatever, just being cool, you know what I'm saying? Cause I still be being cordial with these niggas via social media and that's my motherfucking problem. I be being cordial with these niggas and they be thinking some other shit, so I'm just being nice. And so we were talking about some shit and then he started 
starts going into I was we were talking about fitness stuff or whatever and he's like, Oh yeah, I'm trying to get like you to the cause you know you're gonna be in a motherfucking gym. And then he started going on like, Oh, you didn't know and I'm like, No know that you no, I didn't know that you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never really heard you talk about working out, like saying he didn't know that he don't work out like that. And I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, he was like, oh, nobody told you. Just started acting real weird. And I'm just like, all right, you acting weird. Like, I'm I'm cool on you. But it's like, nigga, you came messaging me. Just like tonight, nigga, you hit me up out the blue talking about some wanna go to the game. This is like, oh, I just wanted I just wanted I just wanted to invite you to the game. No, that's the no, because you could have had 18 million homeboys that you could invite. Like, what the fuck do you want? You know what I'm saying? Like, and men always want to say that we be assuming shit, but it's like, but well, when we ask you straight up, y'all can't even be honest and tell us what the fuck you really want. So you leave us to what? Our motherfucking assumptions. Like, I just don't have time. I just don't have time. And he was talking all this shit. And he was like, see. You proving my point right now. You you ain't never like me, blah blah blah, because you won't give me a kiss. I'm just like, what kiss you? What the fuck you mean? I haven't talked to you in weeks. Should me motherfucking kiss you? Ill. So, yeah. I should never went. I was having a great day. I ordered my fireplace. I got a great massage, like, curls is pop. Like, I was having a good fucking day, and here I go, fuck around with these niggas, and just fuck my whole fucking day up. Like, I should, I should have took my ass to Vegas tonight instead of, instead of probably going tomorrow, and got the fuck out of Dodge, because there is nothing in Atlanta for me. Like, when it comes to these niggas, there's nothing in Atlanta, except a bunch of immature insecure petty ass niggas and I do not have the time like ugh. I, I literally text him like on my way on my way home and I was like I was like, you play too many games. I said, I said, I'm not about that. And I said, I don't operate like that. Thank you for inviting me out. Like, it's like the the fact of me being, being on a cordial level. Like, I can't even do that. Cause you just, you just so full of shit. Like, I just don't understand why people waste other people's time. Like, if you see someone, male or female, but especially men to women, when you see someone being great, and you know that you don't want shit, leave her be, let her be great. Let her be great for another man or let her be great by herself. If you know that you about to play games or be weird or be on some other shit, please. I really wish they would just let us be. Just let us be. I'm about to finish taking this makeup off and doing you know what I'm and go the fuck to bed because I'm exhausted. I already didn't want to go out because that damn massage had me tired and relaxed. But nope. Tried to feel real motherfucking stupid. Hey guys. Good morning. Well, I guess it's kind of afternoon now. Uh, I actually did not end up vlogging yesterday. So, I didn't really have that great of a Friday night, as you know. And then I got up, which sucks because I was having a great Friday day and then my Friday night ended up going to shit. Um, Dylan with that dude. And so Saturday, I was like, oh, like I got there's this concert that I want to go to. Like I have been looking at it for like about two weeks. I've been looking at it and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. You know, I'm just going to wait until Friday to see how I feel to decide if I'm going to go. And then on Saturday, you know, I'll go, you know, hop a flight to Vegas and go. So I get up Saturday. I'm all set to go. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm just 
just gonna go by myself no 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 nothing big yeah get online to try to buy the damn tickets and they are you have to buy them in pairs which is really stupid let me tell you why i thought it was really stupid because it was an outside concert <laughs> like it's lawn seating and picnic blankets so why would you have to buy the tickets in pairs really stupid so i tried for most of the morning i hit up like two of my friends that live out in vegas both of them were gone out of town because it's more a weekend um none of the other my friends either they either couldn't go or they didn't want to go so I was like, well, damn. And I'm not opposed to just buying two tickets and then going by myself. I've done that before. But these tickets were like $65 a piece. So it would have been with like taxes and fees and stuff. It would probably have been like almost $150. I'm about to pay that to go see 112, Silk, John B, Ajay Sean. Like by myself, I was like, nah. So... I ended up just staying, which kind of put me in a bad mood on top of what I was already feeling from the night before. So I actually didn't really didn't do anything. I didn't do anything yesterday. I literally just left like later last night and got some food and then came back. I didn't do anything. So I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, so today is Sunday. You know, Sundays are either going to be a Sunday fun day or they're going to be a self-care Sunday. And today has kind of been like a mix between the two. Um, I kind of just been chilling around, like cleaning, doing house shit, you know what I mean? Like, and I had planned on doing, you know, like face and body stuff later. I wanted to, I wanted to take a bubble bath because I got this new bubble bath. This new Dr. Teal's, this foaming lavender. I just got this. It smells amazing. I cannot wait to use it. Um, so... I wanted to take a bubble bath, um, but I'm actually about to go leave. So I'm about to go to, it's not really brunch, it's just, it's lunch, it's P.F. Chang's with a friend of mine. I've known him for years. Um, he used to play for the Braves, and so now he just plays like local stuff or whatever. Um, we're going to go eat, and then I'm going to go catch his game at 6, and then come back and chill, and then have like a, have like a self-care Sunday like tonight. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're doing about to, you see, I just took this hair down. It got messed up from my massage, so I don't think it's going to fall the way that I need it to fall. And I think I want to ride my drop top today. So I'm going to end up putting my hair up, like up in a ponytail, like that way I can ride in my drop top. Yeah. So I'm going to do a, we're going to do a high poof today. Um, I'm not doing any makeup or anything. I'm just going out straight face. Probably just wear some sunglasses, those on top of my head, and we're gonna call it a day because I'm just chilling. About to go eat some good Asian food, watch this game, chill out. I like hanging out with him because he always, like, we just have a great time. And so, yeah, so that's that. Sunday, kind of chill, kind of regular. That shit on Friday really, like, it really fucked me up. This is why I don't date, right? Because I realize, I need to realize things about yourself. I realize with me, Dating really messes with my anxiety. I have anxiety really, really bad. Um, I, I have panic attacks and all of that. And there are a few things in my life that mess with my anxiety like really, really bad. Like going to certain cities, dealing with certain people, doing certain things. I have realized for the doing certain things, I have to add dating to the list because dating really messes with my anxiety like a lot. And that's why I don't do it. Because I can't deal. I can't deal. Dudes just be out here just being weird as hell, weird, and just playing too many games. And I just, maybe it'll come off the list one day where it gets into a mode where I don't care, I don't know. But right now, and really for the past, really year and a half, dating really messes with my anxiety, so. That shit Friday really, it really, it really, it really messed up my whole weekend. And then the ticket shit on top of it. So we're about to go clear our minds, hang out with some good people, eat some good food, catch a game, and that's that. Look at this thing. This is how she sits up in her bed. Oh, you swear you fancy. Swear you fancy, huh, Darwin? Okay. <laughs> then took your clothes off and just laid them in the bed with you. Mm.
Y'all, this mall is on one today. Like, it's crazy. Hi, Kenny. I thought you were doing that way. Mm, too long. <laughs> Even down and get this. This is what happened when you got big old thighs. It's hurt. Look at that. Leave it alone. All right. So my colors is black and yellow, but I want to do a freaky color. I already have this. Should I do shit? Should I do this? Black and yellow. You already got black and yellow. I, I already had no. I'm talking about working. Green. Cause see, whatever I do, my paint is it's the color I do my accessory tapes on my wrist. I think, you should, I think you should do yellow. Really? Yeah. Right. It'll stand out. about to just wrap this on my head um i am back home uh it was cool it was cool i hadn't been to a baseball game in god years i haven't been to a baseball game in years it was cool hanging out with kenny he's a nut he's been a nut our whole lives um it was cool kind of relaxing like i said a chill sunday fun day it's kind of late though because that game ran long it's not, it's 9.35. Um, I am getting ready to like shower and stuff and get ready for bed because I uh, gotta work tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. You stayed all the way to the end. Thank you. Glad you got to see like a, a little, little bit into my life. Um, oh god, it's so dark. Let me go where there's some more lighting. Let's have to go to the bathroom where the best light is. Where's the light? Where's the light? Here's the light. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, we'll see you guys next week. I, like I said, I'm a pretty busy week this week. I'm doing a lot of different things, getting up with Lonnie with some film stuff probably traveling um so yeah just a lot it's been a been a lot going on these past few days um but yeah so as always thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time